Hello YouTube, it's Moran's Custom Models here. Today I thought I'd do unboxing of my latest model purchase. I mean, I know it's not with the models I usually do. I usually do JDM, but saw this, five quid. Might as well translate into, I think it's about just over seven or eight dollars. Monogram 124 scale Valvertine for Thunderbird model kit. Let's see, in the box. Now I've already opened this and took the wheels out of it. This is the first time using this camera in a while. I think I've got it right. Let's move the box out of the way for you. Now I've got you, you got your radiators, coolers. Not sure if these lights are used. You get your air filter for the engine there. See it a bit better. Not sure. You got the top of your engine block, you got the covers, you got your mirror there, alternator, piping. Let's move on to the, the next sprue. Right, I would this is the I don't usually do the shells straight away, can you see? It's a bit twisted. Ford Thunderbird NASCAR shell. I'll tuck a few of the other bits off. So give you a rough idea how it will look the front end sits quite nicely on and so do most of the other parts that I've tried I've got the bonnet here or hood depending what country you're in and these I think will need a little bit of work to fit to be honest because they're not lining up how I would want them to. Now I've got to trim some of these little edges around here and find the rear bumper. Got to be in my box somewhere. Nope. Sorry about this. Anyway, that's got to be somewhere, but. Let's finish the rest of the body. It's been moulded in white, as you can see, quite well. Can't really find many mould lines at all on this. You've got a bit dusty, a bit dusty. I think monogram is over my level now. And you start with the base, which it's good that you probably can't see it because it's in white on white, but it's good because it's moulded with none of the parts attached so means you can detail it a lot more spray this the colour of whatever you can call it but the downside is usually I like I've never built a NASCAR kit really but I usually still like a tub for my interiors and this is part of the base so but it does bring through like all the the metal work and all that so if you're going for the full detail it will look good now sprue with tyres on won't really be using these because used already used the tyres for something else. No, well the rims for a golf. It's the first full sprue. You've got a few panels that'll be by where you pass off go. You've got your drive line, it's your dashboard, there, the part of the steering column. Top of your fuel tank by the look of it. Uh firewall for your engine bay. Have by your radiator where the fan would go, I think part of the cage. And the seat, it's not that good, and I'm not really sure what these tabs are. I'm not really a NASCAR person, so if I've got that wrong, please feel free to comment. But that's that screw, right? Next screw. Roughly about the same size. A few more parts on this one, start through about that. Start at the top, we've got rear diff, the back of the rear diff, your steering wheel, part of the cage, your suspension springs, you got, oh, I can't remember what that is, correct if I'm wrong, I'm not sure, could be servo, I'm not sure, a fire extinguisher, you got, I think that's your front brace area, that's part of the rear, you got your block and your gearbox together there. Ridge spray those two over you got shocks, I think. There's a few other bits. 
Moving on to the next one. This is, you've got your big, big side piece of the cage, your driver's side, obviously, you've got the other bits, and I think they're part of the steering arm. Another piece of the cage there. It's mainly all the cage on that sprue. Which will look good in whatever colour side to do that. Ah, found the bumper. The bumper on the body fits really nicely. Here's the, the clear part sprue. Got the lines in the back window. Which we have to be painted in in black. You got the side windows. And you got your windscreen. A few scratches and marks on them. Not that many. Then most of the other sprues I've took a few bits off for the bodywork. This one's got a little bit more cage on it. And you got the fan belt for the engine, you got your exhaust manifolds and the side exhaust pipes that go outwards. Then another panel which I think is for the back. Few bits have fallen off. Instructions, I'll quickly open them up for you. I'm going to take ages, aren't I? So, I don't know if you see all of them, but it's the one side. Leave it for you there for a bit. I might do a, a link or something to it. This is the Valvatin Thunderbird. To the side, and then last but not least, still got in the box now is the decals. So you've got big Valvatin decals, right guard, the Rogers of Goodyear, you've got a couple of Ford badges, Thunderbird, some sponsors down the sides, and um, that's it. Please, this is. Oh, please feel free to subscribe. This is my first unboxing video I've done. So, yeah, it's not going to be the best. Uh, thanks for watching my video. Subscribe to my channel. Like my page on Facebook, Mo and Sister Models. Sorry about that again. And also follow my Instagram. I might do a video posting up soon about progress on this kit if I started. Not sure what I'll do with it yet. I might go for like a street car. Ah. So it's a look, but thanks for watching.